It was 3 a.m. this morning. Secret Service fanned down after the drone crashed on the White House ground. Sasha and Malia Obama were home. President Obama and the First Lady were in India and told about the drone. Early indications are that it does not pose any sort of uh, ongoing threat. Here's the drone that crashed, four rotors, two feet across. Most quadcopters this size are toys that can't carry much. And as officers were back out at daylight, a man called to admit he'd been flying his drone this morning, lost control, and realized after hearing news reports it was his drone that went down at the White House. Secret Service is still investigating and still worried a lot, says former agent Dan Bongino. Yeah, this is a game changer because you have now a, a device that can transport both, and this is important, surveillance technology and explosives that's commercially available and is not instantaneously recognizable as a weapon. That's a very big deal. A six or eight rotor drone could carry a bomb. The operator can fly using cameras on board and the bad guys are already using drones. This one crashed carrying meth from Mexico. A drone carrying pot crashed outside this South Carolina prison. And instead of having to raise Congress is trying to write new rules on drones, but their first focus is keeping jetliners safe from collisions. Secret Service, still reeling from the fence jumper who made it to the East Room, now has a rude reminder. Drones can fly over any fence. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington.